Hello and welcome to Mac. I'm Meg, I'll show you an easy DIY project that will help make your house a home. So you know how we bring different eras of design into our wardrobe? We can do the same thing in our home. Maybe not the exact same thing. Today I'm going to show you this easy three-dimensional painting technique that brings a really bold graphic into any room in your home. The colors I'm using and the graphic itself speak to the murals of the 70s and really give a fabulous retro 1970s vibe that you know what, I can get down with. This is me. Get down. What's happening? I don't know! You'll need painter's tape, some brushes, a ladder or stool, and three shades of paint in the same color family. I mixed my own lighter shade of brown by adding a bit of white to the darker hue. First you're going to tape off a square on the wall with the top line being the ceiling. Measure over 13.5 inches from the corner of the wall and measure down 13.5 inches from the ceiling and make a gentle pencil mark at that point. Use your level to check your measure line as you go. Take your painter's tape and using your pencil marks as the four corner points, create a square. Press your tape down along the wall as you go to create a nice seal. The top line of tape should be on the actual ceiling so your square can come right up to that ceiling line. With your perimeter squared off, take your first shade of paint and paint a thin, even coat. Allow to dry and add a second if need be. Carefully remove the tape on the ceiling. Now you're going to make a mirrored square on the ceiling. Measure out 13.5 inches from the adjacent wall and the base points of your wall square to create one on the ceiling. Close the square by adding a piece of tape on the wall right up against the ceiling over your fully dried first square. If this isn't totally dry, it will ruin your paint job. Once sealed, paint it with your second shade of color. This one should be slightly lighter or darker than the first square. Add as many coats as you need, allowing each to totally dry before moving on to the next. Slowly remove the tape from the wall square, and it might pull off some of your paint like this. Just touch it up with a small brush and you're good to go. First I measured over 7 inches from my painted line, and I made a little mark. Then I'm going to take my painter's tape and connect my mark to the end of this square. Press down to create a seal. Do the same on the ceiling. You can tape along the right sides of the two brown squares if you want, but I trusted my steady hand and skipped that step. Create a nice, even first coat and allow to dry. You can clean up any mistakes with a damp Q-tip. If using the metallic paint, you'll need several thin coats to give it the most lush look. When your paint is fully dry, carefully remove the tape. You want to pull your tape away from the angle of the paint to help prevent it from pulling the paint off. And voila! You have a graphic, bold, optical illusion on your wall. It looks different from every angle, and you can bring in a pop of your favorite color combination. I'm loving the bold, graphic 1970s vibe that this project has given to this room. How would you incorporate this three-dimensional technique into a room in your home? Let me know in a comment below. Be sure to subscribe to Mac Meg Allen Cole Crafts so you can check out my next video where I make this. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.